I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn how to use the future in English. So let's begin with what you already know, the future in Spanish. Here are some examples. Yo hablaré con él mañana. Yo voy a hablar con él mañana. Nosotros viajaremos en julio a España. Nosotros vamos a viajar a España en julio. As you can tell, in Spanish, there are two ways to express the future. The first way is to add the letter A to the end of the infinitive verb or the equivalent conjugation. The second way is by using the expression voy a or a similar conjugation. In English, there are also two ways to express the future, with the word will and with the phrase going to. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to try and identify which form of the future is better given the situation and the context. Okay, it is not as easy as it seems, and the truth is that very few native speakers could probably tell you the difference between will and going to. First of all, let's make sure you understand how to translate will and going to from Spanish to English. Will is always used when the Spanish infinitive verb ends in the letter A or an equivalent conjugation. Here are some examples. Hablaremos, we will speak. Hablaré, I will speak. Hablará, he, she, you, or it will speak. Hablarán, they will speak. Voy a, I am going to. Vas a, you are going to. Va a, he, she, it, or you is going to. Van a, they are going to and vamos a, we are going to. Careful, don't forget your lessons from level one about the verb to be. Also, do not forget your lessons from level one about contracting the verb to be with the subject. I am equals I'm, you are equals your, he is equals his, she is equals she's, they are equals their, and we are equals were. Now, for the big question, when do you use will and when do you use going to? The answer, for the most part, is that they are perfectly interchangeable, with no difference in meaning. If you use will or going to in any situation, a native speaker will understand you. There are a few examples where the use of one over the other is preferable. First, we use going to when something is about to happen. Here is an example. Get back, the bomb is going to explode. Second, we use going to when we have already decided something we're going to do in the future. Here is an example. I'm going to move to New York City. Now, we use will when we make a decision at that very moment in a spontaneous way. Here is an example. I will buy it for you. You can pay me back later. We also use will to make an offer or a threat. Here is an example. I will give you a good discount if you buy it right now. However, in general, like in Spanish, you can interchange will and going to. However, with time and practice, you will begin to understand when will is a better option or when going to is a better option. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to practice forming sentences in English using will or going to. Congratulations! Now you understand how to talk about the future with will and going to in English. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck.